Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I'm going to show you how to make this hooded scarf. It's really easy. I'm going to show you how to do the stitch that I used. It's a, a back loop and a side loop stitch. It's only a one row repeat. The ends are nice and straight. Well, the stitch is done in a UK half treble crochet. And if you're in the USA, that's a half double crochet. And then it's a, a back loop and a front loop stitch. Simple, really easy. Makes beautiful scarves. You can make shawls, blankets. Look how beautiful that would be for a blanket. The yarn that I've used is this Aldi's Knit and Pearl Ombre Yarn and Pearl. It's a 200 gram. I used one and I would say a quarter ball. I, I used about 250 grams for this. So one ball and then another little bit of this ball here. It's really pretty. And this is made or it's sold by Aldi in the UK. Now I'll pop that back there. You can make this as long as you want, as long as you want. And I've got this really nice hood on the top. I'll show you how to fold it, where to sew it to make the hood. It's really simple. This is so pretty. Look at this. The stitch is beautiful. It's easy as well. Now there's lots of scarves with hoods and pockets on YouTube already. So this is just a little bit different with the stitch. You can do anything you like with this stitch as well. You can fold the end up of your scarf and make it into a pocket shawl. Look at that. It's very easy just to make it into a pocket scarf with a hood. <laughs> a pocket shawl. It's a pocket. You can make it into a pocket scarf with a hood if you want. You just stitch up the side and stitch up that side. At least if you're making them for your kids, you can keep their mobile phone in there. Keep their hands warm. But it's really pretty. So I'm going to show you how to make this scarf with a hood. So that's your project for today. I'm going to use this Aldi yarn. This is Knit and Pearl and it's done by Aldi. It's the So Crafty range. This is the ombre yarn. It's called Sundance. It's a yarn cake. There's 200 grams in this and it turns out beautiful. The, the hat scarf that I've just shown you, that is the Aldi yarn as well. Uh, that's the pearl one. This one is called the Sundance one. Now this stitch is really easy, especially for a beginner. Now it'll take you away from doing double crochets and treble crochets. And it will give you that beautiful pattern that I showed you. It's really simple. So I'm going to do a chain. There is no chain count for this scarf. Do whatever amount that you want. It doesn't make any difference at all. And I want to thank my friend Pauline for finding me a 7mm Addy hook. I couldn't find a 7mm. I've been using just like your normal ones. These are beginning to hurt my hands a little bit. I'm starting to developing a little bit more swelling in my knuckles. So I'm going to do a chain. You do your chain any width you want. No, it's only one row. It's only a one row repeat and it's brilliant. So I'm just going to do this little sample. I'll do a couple more. It's a couple, it doesn't matter how many stitches you do. Make your scarf as wide as you want. You don't need, I'm doing a sample for you, but you don't need a great big chain for a scarf. It's up to you. You can make your chain whatever length you want. If you want to do a blanket, just do a longer chain because this is, it was beautiful for a blanket as well. I'll do a few more. Now we're going to do what's called a UK half treble crochet if you're in the USA this is a half double crochet you're going to put your yarn over your hook and we're going into the second stitch the second stitch in your chain 
Now, it doesn't matter how many stitches you have. It doesn't matter. There is no stitch count. So go into that stitch. Pull your yarn through. You're going to put your yarn over and pull through all of those stitches. That is a UK half treble crochet. If you're in the USA, it's a half double crochet. That is the stitch we will be using all the way through this. It's a one row repeat and you'll always be using this half treble crochet. So yarn over and into the next stitch. Yarn over and through all your stitches. Yarn over into the next stitch. Pull through. Yarn over and through the three loops. I should have been calling that loops. When they're on your hook, it's called a loop. So yarn over into the next stitch. Pull through. Yarn over and come through your three loops. Yarn over the next stitch. Yarn over and through your three loops all the way to the end. At the end of my chain, I'm doing my last half treble crochet. And this is what you get. It's really pretty. And this is the stitch we're using all the time. You're going to chain one and turn. Now at the beginning and at the end, the last stitch, the first and last stitch, will always be a half treble crochet into the stitch so into the very first stitch put your yarn over and go through pull through and do your half treble crochet now yarn over now what you're going to do now is you've got a back a back loop on your stitch a front loop and you've got a stitch that sits here right on the front you can see it very, very clearly here. That's the top of your work and that's the side of your work. You're going into this stitch here. I've done this on my train track. I've done this on several other videos when I've done like the deep ridge videos. Now you're going, you're going into that stitch. So just slip up through that stitch right on the front. That's the top of your work there. That's your chain on the top. You can see your stitches. And this is the side. So do your half treble crochet on that stitch. Yarn over the next stitch you're going to that back loop. Go into that back loop and pull through and do your half treble crochet with that. Then go to that front loop again. Make sure you don't end up using the one that belonged to that back loop. So you're doing this side loop stitch, the back loop stitch at the top, the side, the back at the top, this one here, this one that's here. So I'll show you that again. So the one that's on the side, yarn over and do your half treble crochet. Pull through. Yarn over and kind of turn your work to catch that back loop of your next stitch. And that is all you're going to do. You're just going to repeat that stitch, the front, and give it a little twist and catch that back loop there of the next stitch. Yarn over the front one that's on the side. Not the top one, beside the back one. We're going on the side of your work. And it's a half treble crochet. If you're in the USA, this is a half double crochet. Now, the way you work, it pulls your stitch across. So make sure you don't work. You don't work that one that you've just taken from the front. Make sure you go to your next stitch. And pull through. That's it. That's all you're going to repeat. It's just a one row repeat. Yarn over. And go to the front. Or the side, I should say. I've caught my yarn there. Yarn over and to the back loop. Do your half treble crochet to the front loop. Do your half treble crochet. If you're in the USA, this is a half double crochet. So catch the back loop of that stitch. Half 
treble crochet into the side stitch, then the back stitch of the next one, then the side stitch of the next stitch, and then the back. You might have to kind of turn it to catch that back loop there, to catch that back loop. This is so easy. Once you get the hang of it, that's all it is. This whole scarf that I did, the hat scarf with the pockets on, that's all I did was this stitch. One row repeat. Now this is my last front one on the or on the side. So I'm at my last stitch. I've done a side stitch here. And I map my little bundle at the end. I'm going to put a half treble right through there. So your last stitch and your first stitch will always be just a half treble crochet right through the work. Chain one and turn. So on the pattern, I finished that one on a front loop. My next one, when I turn, the pattern stitch is going to be a back loop stitch. We'll still do our half treble crochet into that first stitch. So yarn over and into the very first stitch, do your half treble crochet. So I finished on a front loop on the pattern on that side. So I'm going to do a back loop on this side. If you finish on a front loop, you'll start with a back loop. Ignore the half treble crochet at the beginning and the end is not part of the pattern. The pattern is in the middle. So when I say you'll start the pattern, it's from the second stitch. Remember that. And after that, it's so easy because it's only a one row repeat. So yarn over and you're going through the back loop and pull through. Yarn over and then your side loop and pull through. It's only a one row repeat. You'll do side loop, back loop, back loop, side loop. There we go. So we're on the side loop. And then the back. Make sure you maybe need to turn your work a little bit to catch that back loop. And then the side loop of the next stitch. Or the front loop, I should say. Back loop. No, it's sides. <laughs> it is on the side. It's on the side. So just tilt your work a little bit, catch the back loop, then the front, and then the back, and then the front, and then the back, and then your last stitch is a half treble crochet. Chain one and turn. Now do your half treble crochet to begin. Your row, it keeps your edge straight, keeps your edge nice and straight when you do that half treble crochet at the beginning and at the end. It keeps it keeps a nice keeps a nice straight edge on it. And look at that stitch, it's really pretty. It's almost like a back post and front post stitch. So we finished that pattern on a back loop. So the next stitch is going to be that side loop there. And then at the top, the back loop. And then at the side. And then at the back. And then the side. Then the back. And that's it. That's all you're going to do until your scarf is as long as you need it. You can make a multitude of things. You can make shawls, you can make hats, scarves. You can even do those um, pot holders, those pot holder, little square pot holders. You can make little squares of all different colours and join them together into a blanket as well. And if you've got any ideas of what you can do, then just drop a line. Put put a little message in the comments. And also the reason I've made my video just a little darker 
is to see if it shows the stitch up. I was getting quite a glare from the winter sun coming in the window. So hopefully what I've done has helped with the light reflection and you can still see how to do these stitches. Now if I'm going a little too quick for you, if you click in the settings you can slow the videos down and you can do that to any video on YouTube, you can slow it down. Now look at that, that is a really pretty, pretty stitch. It's really pretty. So we're on a front loop. And the last stitch is a double, a half treble crochet. Chain one and turn. So we finished on a front loop. So we'll be on a back loop this time. So do your one treble, half treble crochet. <laughs> I keep calling it a treble crochet. So yarn over and we're doing back loop now. So it should work out that if you finish your pattern on a front loop, you'll start on a back loop. If you finish on a back loop, you'll start on a front loop. But you will always have that single half treble crochet as your first stitch and one as your last stitch. And you're going into the little bundle on the end with your last stitch. Don't go through the top of the stitch. You're going through that bundle. And look at that. That is so, so pretty. It's so pretty, and that's all you have to do. That's all you have to do with this. This is my my pink scarf. <laughs> I can get this on here. And that is that just one row repeat stitch that I showed you. It's a, like a little sort of front stitch. And look at that, it's so pretty. I'm going to stretch that out. It's a bit like a rib stitch with the way it comes out, but it's much, much prettier. Now, to finish this row so that this edge is the same as this edge, because we started the edge with a half treble crochet, and that's a, a half double crochet if you're, if you're in the USA. So I'm just going into every stitch and doing a half treble crochet stitch. So that's over your hook, through your stitch, and pull through. You've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over and come through all three. So I'm on my last stitch here, just going right into the end. I'm going to cut my yarn. So I'll cut my yarn and just pull it through. I'll stitch that in. I'll stitch that in at a later date. Now, I'm going to show you how I did the hood. With this, if you want to turn this into a pocket scarf, you can just turn up the ends like this. Turn up the ends and stitch them down the side and then turn it inside out and you'll get a nice neat edge. You can just fold it up like that and just stitch down the side if you want. Um, there's no point in me sewing it like that because um, my young neighbour doesn't want pockets in the bottom of it. She just wanted a long scarf with a hood on it and I think it's a teenage thing. <laughs> So I'll show you, I've got, this is quite large. So what we're going to do now is put your two ends together of your scarf. So I'm going to put both my ends together like this. So I've got my little scarf completely in half. I'll turn it that way. So you can see what I'm going to do. I'll get my measuring tape because she told me it was 10 inches. 
she wants a hood that's 10 inches. So I'm going to measure that there. I've got my 10 inches here. I've got my yarn. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew down this side. And this is going to make the hood. I'll turn it so that I've got it. I'm going to sew up the back from here up to here. And this is going to make the hood. This is going to make the hood part of the hoodie scarf. I'm just going to over sew that. I'm going to turn it inside out anyway. So this seam will be on the inside. It will be on the inside. I'm going to stitch it through just over out of all the crafts that I have done in my lifetime sewing is not the best one of them <laughs> I don't like sewing I just don't like it I'm not very good at that I can do a multitude of crafts but I don't like sewing i'm going to sew right up to the top of the hood and i'll come back and show you what to do next just going to snip this off i'll pop that out of the way don't want it to fall on the floor now i'm going to i'll show you what i've done i've sewed down the 10 inches or so and I'm going to turn it inside out. So I've stitched down the fold. I went down 10 inches. When you do the edge of the hood, you don't want it to stick out like this. It needs to come up in a little slope like this so we're going to go this is the back this sits at the back of your neck so i'm going to go from here i'll turn my scarf this way so this is the hood so this is the hood part, like this, it's going to sit over your head. Now we need to do the edge that's going to sit in front of your face. And I want to do it so that it goes up at an angle and then around. If you do it straight up, it looks really strange going from here to here. It's like it needs to come up on an angle, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to do a row of half treble crochets. I'm going to pick up stitches all the way around. I'm doing 12 inches on this side and 12 inches down that side. Put the chain one. This is the start. I'm going to do a half treble crochet all the way around, picking up stitches evenly along the edge of your scarf now you can do this with any scarf that you're making you can make a hood on it you just fold it in half you can put pockets on the end of your scarf if you want you just fold them over There's one in there. so i'm going to work my way around with a half treble crochet if you're in the usa that's a half double crochet all the way around 12 inches up to the top of the, the hood and 12 inches down. End up with a straight line on the hood. I want it to go that way and then around so it gives it a nice edge. What I'm going to do is to chain one and turn. Turn your work. 
And to work up the way, what we're going to do is, I'll move that out of the way. Do your yarn over and go through that first stitch and pull through. Keep it on the hook. We're going to do what's called a decrease. We're going to go over to here. So you're going to do your yarn over and go in to that next stitch. Keep it all on the hook. Yarn over and you're going to come through all of those stitches. Yarn over and go into your next stitch and do your half treble crochets all the way around. Now, I'm not doing the pattern on here. I'm just doing half treble crochets. And as you can see, that's going to take that up. I'm going to do five rounds. And at the beginning of every round, I'm going to decrease my one stitch and my work should go in like this it should work its way across and then around i'll show you that you'll see that so i'm going to work all the way around to the other side so i'm nearly around the other side of the hood and i've got two stitches left i'm going to do a decrease so i'm putting my yarn over and go into the, st the next stitch pull through leave it on the hook Put my yarn over again and go into that last stitch and pull through. Then we're going to pull through all of these stitches. Pull through all of those stitches. I'm going to chain one and turn. Now I'm going to decrease again. So yarn over and into the first stitch and pull through. Yarn over and go into the next stitch. And pull through. So I'm going to decrease this row by one. So what you're going to do now is go straight on to your next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. And we're going to continue our half treble crochets all the way around to the other side of our border. And this is what you're getting. It's going to slowly start go in the way over the five rounds that I'm going to do and that way you don't have a straight odd line it's going to taper in and it's going to look a lot better if you decrease at the edges I'll work my way around my hood I'm going to work my way around the hood and you can see it's starting to taper there and when I get to this one I'll decrease to here I'll show you that again once I get to that side so I'm just going to do my half treble crochets all the way around so at the end I've got three stitches left now that one there was our decrease so I will do that next one and I've got two left now so yarn over into that stitch pull yarn through leave it there yarn over and we're going into that stitch there pull through yarn over and come through all the loops we're going to chain one and turn and again we're going to decrease again so yarn over into the next loop and pull through yarn over into the next stitch i should say pull through so it looks like you've got two sets of your stitch on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all of those stitches. And then do your next row. Just carry on. So you're reducing the edge. And what it's doing, as you can see, it's giving it a nice slope on your hood instead of it being straight out like i've said already instead of it being sticking straight out and looking kind of odd it's sloping the edge of the hood the the border around the hood so i'll work my way back to this side we'll reduce again chain one and turn and then we'll reduce again and work our way back I'm going to do five rows to see what it looks like. So this is row three. I'm on row three. 
So I'll get to row five and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So I've done five rows. This is my last row. This is my fifth row. And I'm just going to finish my stitches. Now I'm going to keep that last one on the hook and go into my last stitch and pull through all of those stitches. I'll pull through one. I'll get my scissors. I'll leave a tail so I can trim my end in. Pull right through and that's going to lock that in. Now what I'll do is I'll get a darning needle and I'll stitch down my side and that should hood. I'll stitch my edges in like I said and it makes it really pretty. So it gives a scarf a little twist with having the hood on it. But that is how you do that really pretty hood on your scarf and that beautiful little stitch. Now on the end of your scarf, you can turn them up and turn that into a pocket like that on your scarf. Quite a long garment. Now on your little scarf, you can actually fold up the end and turn that into a pocket at each side of the scarf as well and that is how you make you make this really pretty hooded scarf give it a try you'll like it just give it a little try you can make them any size they're great for children as well as adults they're great for that so you're basically doing a scarf really easy fold it in half stitch up one side to make the hood like that you don't even need to put a border on it if you don't want to if you make your scarf wide enough all you need to do is just fold it over and stitch it that's all you have to do and that makes the hood for the scarf it's so so simple it's really simple but i did it this way so i could show you if you want how to put a border around just to finish off the edge of it. It's really pretty. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please click on the subscribe button. And if you click on the bell icon, YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.